Modern technology has come a long way, but as we know, there is always room for improvement. And when we're all so focused on Armageddon and difficulty and a declining standard of living, it might be a good time to talk about things that might get better innovations over the next five years. Our next guest says there are five that may change the way we live, work, and enjoy our free time. Joining us here, Dr. Bill Pulleyblank, Vice President of IBM. And uh, by the way, I must say, reading your biography, some fascinating things in there with gene research and deep computing. And so you've spent a lot of time looking at a lot of complex things to boil it down to what are some simple things that we can all understand. Um, I know we probably want to go these in order, but I really, there's a few that fascinate me in particular. And the first was this one. Forgetting will become a distant memory. Yes. Just imagine that I could give you a device that you can carry around with you. And anything you want to remember, the device will record. It could be a picture. It could be you're in a restaurant. You had a bottle of wine. You especially liked it. You just hold it up to the label, and you've captured it now. And this device has got infinite memory, so you can store as much as you want. Infinite memory. As no limit on what you can remember. And what's even better is, you, two years later, you could say, you know, when we were in that restaurant down in Tribeca, do you remember we had a really good bottle of wine? And you say, oh, what was it called? It gives it to you. And how do you search? It just, um, I mean, how would you, exactly. you, I mean, I'd be putting things in there all day long. Yeah, that's the I key. I want to forget part. a lot of things, too. It's, <laughs> that's a problem. Well, then you lose something on deniability with this. Yeah, you've got to be right. sensitive to that. But that's one of the keys. Two, two key ideas in this, and these are things we're working on in the IBM labs. Infinite storage idea. How do you store a lot? Yeah. But secondly, how do you index it so you can answer so the you questions? So you can restore quickly. Yeah, and when you don't know how people are going to look for it later. So you're trying to put the right things in that will help you find it. I'm going to jump out of order, too. It's like the, uh, you uh, will talk to the web, and the web will talk back. Uh, we've seen the, the video, the growth of video yeah. on the web. Um, is, it, is that a good thing? Why is that going to ha- make my life better, the web talking to me? Well, he, the idea of it is, is that normally when we think of interacting with the web, we think of a computer screen and looking at the screen and windows and like, things like that. But there are times when you'd really like to just be able to talk to it and get the information. For example, you've got the farmer down in Florida, out in the, in the orange orchards, and he thinks, it's getting cold tonight, is it going to freeze? So he could pick up the phone and say, what's the weather going to do tonight? And they say, well, it's going to freeze. How much is it going to freeze? And I have a little dialogue going on with the web. So it would link him through the web, find the information out, and give it back in that form. We, I mean, we have a lot of voice-activated technology yes. right now that, quite frankly, is a little stiff and stodgy. Yeah. Dialing, yeah. you have to very, very precise commands. So is there some sort of technological quantum leap that's going to come and make this mu- the interface much more normal? Right. There, there are two things that are going to happen, and, and again, they're, they're happening in the labs. First is speech recognition gets much, much better than it is now. Uh, we've all seen these terrible examples, but but it's really getting good. I'm now. guessing IBM's a leader in speech recognition software and technology. Well, as a matter of fact, we are. <laughs> since you mentioned well, that, you should ask. Yeah. yeah, who knew? But the and the second part, though, and this is to anybody who's got a teenage kid, you understand the difference between them hearing you and them understanding what you're saying. And what we've got to get the computers able to understand what people are saying. That's a good point. That is smart. It doesn't just take what you say literally That's right. when you're trying to do something. I was, that was using my crystal ball on the IBM thing there. Talk, talk about, uh, t- tell us about the crystal ball for your health. This is the most amazing thing that's going to change everybody's life because what it enables mm-hmm. is you to take your own DNA and your physician and you can use that to give you a personalized medical profile. What that means is that we can say, you know, you're the kind of a person that is not going to have to worry about this condition ever arising in your life. On the other hand, typically people like you may run into this in the 30s, so we're going to test for that at the time when you get to that age. So one part is knowing what your tendencies are and what you might have happened. Right. The second part, though, and this is what's really key, if there is a situation that arises, what's the best way to treat it? And that is different for different people. I hope you're right on that. And gosh, I hope you can get these issues of privacy and medical records through Congress. But uh, we're short on time. Digital shopping assistance. Yes. Digital shopping assistant, something you take with you in the store. Mm-hmm. I go into the khaki division and I want to find a pair of pants. I can scan pairs of pants. It'll tell me which styles will work for me. It'll help me find the size that I want. It'll help with jeans. And here's the big thing on that. Mm-hmm. Imagine if I've got my wife's information on it. Right. And so I can go and take her information in. And just imagine if I could buy something for her that would fit. 
All right. She wouldn't want to return. And we just get a quant just could do fast. And the end, the last technology is just solar everywhere, non-panel formats. Yeah. Is the call. Imagine low cost, much more efficient solar surfaces. Yeah. So the entire top of a strip mall is solar which captures enough energy to run the whole model. Beautiful. Solar Beautiful. and asphalt, that's a pretty powerful right. thing. All right. Dr. Bill, thank you very thank much. Thank you very, very much. Cool that's segment. a cool Appreciate it.